what's happening guys and welcome to another episode of dominating division one my name is dirty mike and if you're new to this series then it's all about building different squads and jumping directly into head-to-head -head matches on fifa ultimate team we're using a moroccan base side and a 352 formation we've got a few big name players we've got a few guys in there that everyone should be well familiar with and in the previous installment we were doing all right until the very last match where we copped the loss uh, because my opponent disconnected me uh, and that's right I said my opponent disconnected me I feel strongly that I was DDoSed he paused the game and then randomly it disconnected and I got the loss which is not a good look and it's messing up my momentum as we come into the first game in this episode I'm not playing my best my best football I'm overly aggressive on the defensive end I'm trying to pressure extremely high up the pitch especially knowing that my defense is let's just say they're not as good as the rest of my team they just don't have the pace and if you're playing ultimate team not having pace especially on the defensive end it's gonna cause you a lot of problems so I've got some news I got partnered a couple days ago that's right I got partnered with a network over the past couple months I've been approached by almost every network in terms of gaming and FIFA whether they're extremely major small up-and-coming guys and I didn't know what direction I wanted to go in, but I did know for sure that I did not want to make a huge commitment. And by huge commitment, I mean I didn't want to sign a long-term contract. And a couple of the larger networks, the major guys, they don't want to sign you unless you're locked in for two, three years. And at this point in my channel, I'm at the growing stage. And I, I didn't know where YouTube was going to be at two, three years from now. Uh, I don't know where I'm going to be at two or three years from now. And it just didn't seem like the right partnership the right deal I didn't want to sign anything because YouTube keeps changing and there could be better opportunities to come along within that period of time but once you're locked in in a contract you're in so I didn't want to go down that route I ended up partnering with SA sports gaming uh, they're also a well-known network they have about a hundred thousand subscribers on their gaming community channel so feel free to check that out and I got a short-term deal I'm not sure if I can speak about any details with this so I'm gonna keep it very very broad but I did get a really short-term deal I wanted to test out the market and kind of see what changes when you're partnered do you get better marketing opportunities because the whole deal or well the whole plan is you want to grow you want to grow on YouTube you want to get your channel out there you want to get people on your channel so they can give you some feedback and you can keep improving your content while your channel grows you want people to watch your videos you want to provide top-notch quality for other people but enough about all the partnering stuff if you have any questions feel free to ask me in the comment box obviously I may be a little bit on the limited side on how much detail and depth I can go in but I'll try my best to answer any questions you have and uh, I'll let you know what I think is the right and wrong move even though myself I'm not sure if I'm the most knowledgeable person I'm still very new to YouTube oh and let me know what you think. I've uh, uploaded a few custom thumbnails now, and I'll have some more on the way. It takes me a little bit of time to mess around in Photoshop. I haven't used Photoshop in a couple years, but I've been having fun with it. Photoshop and I have been getting back into a relationship. We're rekindling that fire. And, uh, yeah, I've been making some thumbnails. So let me know if that looks good. I think they turned out pretty well so far, and I still need to make uh, a few more thumbnail designs. So we're in matchup number three, and my opponent's using five in the back. I really hate five in the back in FIFA Ultimate Team because the speed of play is so fast that they're able to counter attack whereas in head to head if they have five in the back it's definitely still a disadvantage they have to play really slow they're not gonna make many chances if your defense is solid and so forth nice goal by Labiad Ooh, it was pretty sick I know I'm a little late on that I'm just looking through watching it again it's nasty and I had so much trouble containing Gervinho because my defense is so damn slow so slow. I thought I blew this opportunity, but no. Tarot's got my back. He's been just just absolutely lovely. He's a joy. Real. Uh, I wouldn't say a gem because everybody knows who he is, but I didn't think that he would be quite this effective as a striker, and he's been scoring goals right and left in the air. He's been doing it with pace, skill moves, long shots, and the list just keeps going. I really enjoy using him, and Labiad, it's time for him to step it up. He's been all right. But I paid a lot of money. Inform Labiad was about 23, 22, 23 thousand coins. You know, he needs to live up to the hype. And we give up a sweaty goal here. Once again, I can't stay in front of Gervinho. 
my defenders. And it's unfortunate. They're not even able to body him off the ball, which is something you should be able to do. Usually if you just touch Jervinho, you nudge him right off the ball. He just falls over. He's a very, very soft player. He doesn't have a high strength statistic. I'm not sure what his stat line is, but I know he gets knocked off really easily. So we're 4-1-2 at the end of this episode, and things may be turning around. I usually don't lose two games within a dominating Division One series, so we've got to step it up and make some changes, make something happen here. But I think I got my momentum going, and we're going to be back on track doing some work. Remember, if you enjoyed the video, hit that thumbs up, subscribe to my channel, and follow me on Twitter at Mike09USA. I have a lot more content coming for you ASAP ASAP.